Wait, what? It's around the same time, too? Oh, it is. Streamlabs just hates me. Streamlabs is ass. Hey, Sean, don't drink. Come on. I'm supposed to be making your decisions for you. Hi, Moon. Welcome back. Just notice the Twitch stopped you from hearing me. Oh, what the fuck? That's weird. What happened to the stream? Oh, Streamlabs being a bitch as always. To Cassidy? Who the fuck? Where the fuck? Because of uptime? No, because there's not a limit. I, I've literally streamed for 10 hours before and had no problem. You legit just missed her? I'm just gonna say, gotta go. Alrighty, Fizzy. Ingrid and Cassidy are together. Why the fuck did it give us... Okay. Why didn't it show the arrow for Cassidy beforehand? I'm not good at remembering names. I'm gonna go off score now. Alrighty, Moon. Good luck with your school. Fuck yeah. Get the tattoo. It'll be a memory.
You think so, Moon? A wolf? Thought she was about to kiss him. It did kind of look like it. Aren't you supposed to not swim directly after getting a tattoo? Hope I don't look like a clown. I actually kind of get why they all wear tattoos. That sounded guilty. I guess I'll head to the lake then? Is this the right way? No, I think that's the right way. Over here. Jeez. Cassidy's crazy. So don't make her wait up. Nah. I should enjoy my last night with these lunatics. Maybe the lake's this way? I know there's a sign. I have a, it has a cover on it. I don't know. I intend on remaining on it in the pure skin army. But yeah, but even with the, even when it has like covers and you know the banded stuff on it, it, usually you know tattoo artists still don't want you to go in the water or any of that stuff directly after getting a tattoo. You make a very valid point, Yuki. So? I'm gonna sit on here for a second until I know that it's safe. Tattoo to remember your grandpa and grandma? Aww. Ending? No, not ending. I'm just on just face and chat in case it shows... something. Because they're swimming. Oh, yep, yep. 
You guys will just have sound. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm very glad I took this onto this. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't showed anything yet, but... Hey, you guys can hear it. <laughs> oh, she's splashing them. Um The faces I make? Am I making faces? Thanks to the Discord plug, Nightbot. Can we see it now? Well, they're still in the water. And I mean, I guess they are covered by the water, but I don't know when they'll get out. Okay, so here we can reject her. We can say we're not into dating, or we can say we like them too. And Sean might like her, but I don't We're literally leaving. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're we're leaving. Oh, this is just they're in the lake right now, and since they're all clothesless, I'm on this screen, so we're, you guys are getting an audio-only experience. But we can tell her that we like her too, or we could say we're not into dating. I feel like saying we like her too is the right option here for Sean because I feel like maybe Sean feels that way, but I don't know how Sean feels. But Cassidy, Cassidy. You guys seem to like the idea of us liking her. So you like your rejection hurts more? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, you guys want us to say yes. First time he's been skinny dipping too, so I mean. Your legs are bulk, they are, they are. I've been working them out. It's 
getting awfully close. Well, if I'm going to say the other thing, I'm going to go all in. Yeah, that is a kiss scene. Hey, Peter! I'm the imposter! There you go, Eternal. Alright, alright, I think we're safe now. I think they're all fully clothed. Where'd Daniel go? If I'm reading the context clues right. <clears throat> so? Do I want to go inside? I did say if we're going that one route, we're going all the way. All right, time for it to be an audio, vi uh, like a little audio book for you guys for a second. Why would you not in this case? I mean, I do. Do you better mute the... Audio if it gets nasty. She just call you bro? I mean, okay, that was the sound of the tent, guys. That was the sound of the tent. But I mean, bro is just kind of a word to say. Bro's own Sag. Bro's brother? I know bro's brother, but brother, like, that's not the only way people use bro. I use bro a lot of the time if I'm talking to anybody. It's like, bro, did you see that? Or like, bro, what the heck, dude? Or like, hey, what's up, bro? It, it's interchangeable. It's not only for brother. It's also, it's like, You know, it's one you can use, different people use differently. You don't call someone you love bro? Speak for yourself. Many people call the people they love bro. Just when you crochet and I have to redo. Rough. Oh, uh, oh, I think licensed music is playing here. All right, time to turn up the punk rock. Oh.
You know, this music fits here too. Literally, what the heck? Why oop? Uh, use context clues. Now it's just a montage of the people, but I'm scared to turn it back. Like, it's literally just a montage of everybody else at the party. That's all that's happening right now. But, I'm just scared it'll pan back on at the wrong moment. All right, I think the licensed music stopped. All right, audio audiobook time. We still not see? Well, she's still shirtless. Oh shit, I thought she was in front of him and then she just popped out from behind him and that just terrified me. That is music. <laughs> she really just said until we fuck again. But that get dressed line was music to my ears. Also, they literally did that in the tent right beside everybody. Did nobody hear? Like, how quiet were they? I mean, I know licensed music was playing, but like, did that drown it out? Yep. <laughs> They're all drunk and high. True, but I mean, still. Finn and Daniel together. That's not a good sign right now. Best 15 seconds of his life. I only got through a minute 51 seconds of that song. Hey, get mad later. We got shit to do now. She already Bring did. Them. Bring them back. Don't they? <laughs> she just did. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the whole two for one. They set themselves up for that one. Your friend was going to wait and get Daniel to do it. It does seem like it. It does seem like it. Signs are pointing to that. I do the lights? Is that what she said? 
figures. Hey, what about Check you? the other door now. What? Oh, Shut this up. one? I checked the car. All doors locked. Oh, the truck or the car. Fuck the light. Okay, I didn't. He I'm bad at hearing. One door left to check. need to find something to slash these. Oh, why am I slashing those? Wonder why he keeps that car here. Probably to get down to Arcata and pick up some girls. Okay. Something sharp should do the job. The wheels and the other dude can't follow me. Well, I mean, what are you getting into? If we're sneaky enough, we won't need to worry about him following us anyway. But I guess Bunch extra precaution. Sure care about this place. Or nothing? Bunch of pigs okay, yeah, yeah, same, same cutscene. So let the air out of the tires. True, we could, we could. Or, we could slash them. Dude, I can't see shit. Holy fuck. Guess we won't be working here anymore. <laughs> what gave that away? so fucking stupid. Jeez, come on. Give me something. You have ADHD and your meds are not effective anymore, but you still listen more than I do? Okay, and? I'm not much of a listener. What of it? Well, I am much of a listener, but I also zone out. In fact, I mostly do listening whenever I'm in a conversation with someone. But if I'm playing a game, I'm not much of a listener. In conversations, I'm absolutely more of a listener than a talker. Might use that to force something open. Or to stab a tire. Then I was on as well, but in game you said out less than when you're with friends. Makes sense. Forget it. Eco friendly, my ass. They're just criminals. Thanks for the hydrate, Blueberry. There she blows. Oh. Battle 
away, Sean. That was nice being with you. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say her and Finn are probably gonna be going with us. Damn. That was fun. Not gonna follow us now, motherfucker. Cool if she comes with you, but Finn, I don't know if he's way too stubborn. It's a bad example. I mean, Man, focus. We have to get him to that. I think he's just drunk and stoned right now. And I mean, if um, We're too slow, Sean. Fuck. Let's get out of here quick, Sean. I would still find a way to get weed and things like that. I mean... To be fair, not a lot of the people in this situation- This situation overall isn't a good example for Daniel. We're literally on a weed farm. And he's a child being forced to work at it. Car truck window doesn't ring, so he said, I think she had a rock. She didn't just use her fists. And you get a moth outside. Alrighty, alrighty. Can't find it anymore? Uh-oh. Did he miss something? Finn and Daniel are... We're trying to break into Merrill's. You're drunk and high, Finn.
No, Daniel. It's too dangerous. Putting a target on our back from this guy is not a good sign. And you're going to wake him up, you fucking dumbass. Daniel, you're a dumbass. Alright, Daniel, so what's your big plan now? My thoughts exactly, Meryl. I don't see any reason not to obey here. If we disobey the man with the shotgun, it won't end well. And I don't want to get anybody killed here. So I'm going to obey. Finn. 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 Even Daniel's power here still won't be any uh, help if the man's holding the shotgun and he got the hands on the trigger. If all of a sudden he feels the shotgun levitating, he still might accidentally pull the trigger out of shock. You don't know what's going to happen. Don't do anything stupid. Welcome back, Tekka. What happened? Finn took Daniel to take the money stuff, and we came to go stop them. And now we're all in deep shit. Fuck, these are a lot of decisions. Hmm. Okay, what's my choice here? What what's my choice here? Oh, okay, Daniel's power, Daniel's power. I feel like if Daniel uses his power too recklessly here, will die. This all depends on how good Daniel is with his power. But... 
If we don't, I really feel like Finn's about to die. Up against people you don't know? Yeah, I know. I know. You really... Okay, Moon, do you think a weed farmer, which, by the way, in the game, it's not legalized yet, is going to go to a news station to state that a child with powers was trying to rob his weed farm? The news isn't going to hear about this. Moon, we're on a weed farm right now. This guy that we're stealing from is a criminal. Yeah, he wouldn't go to the news. He'd go to the higher-ups. And then uh, the uh, criminal organization or whatever the fuck will know about it. Unless Meryl dies, which, I mean, that's a favorable situation. It'd be handy. Although, I'm trying to play this through with minimal death. Please do not fuck Streamlabs. Oh, I'll do it. I will. It'll be a big fat red target on our head. There's already a big fat red target on our head. We're literally fugitives. And this could get people out of the situation. From police? Yeah. I'm aware. Are people who literally hurt, hurt your brother more? If we don't use the power here, people could die. If we use the power here, people could die. Either way, it's a shit situation. Just one of them gives us more of a chance of nobody dying. You don't know that onesie. You don't know people will die either way now or later. You can't say that with certainty. Fuck it, he has powers. Might as well use them. Rather have Daniel safe. Daniel safer with the guy not having a shotgun directly in front of him. Shot in the shoulder. That's just a shoulder wound. It's okay. Daniel will be okay. Daniel's just pissed off now. Damn, that was some earthquake, huh? Only one bullet was fired and it was from a pistol and it was into a shoulder. I think we escaped this. Not certain, but I think we're fine. Do we need to sanitize the wound? We'll figure it out. 
we'll figure it out. And it's been bleeding out on a light. I mean, if they took the bullet out, but they didn't take the bullet out. It's like the, an arrow situation. Well, no, no, it's still pl probably bleeding, but... I doubt bleeding out. No, I don't think they're dead. They're just all passed out right now. Unless they had, like, some sort of major injury. I think they're just unconscious. Thanks for the hydrate wrap. Damn, what happened to your eye? Angry dude's most likely dead. I don't, I don't know if he's dead. He definitely got knocked back at least. To be continued. Glass, yeah, I know glass. I know glass. But... Doesn't look like anybody had any major injuries from right there. No major injuries quite yet. If Gross, you didn't want to see that? Well, that's just kind of what happens. Whenever things happen. Sorry, Yuki. All right. All right, license music pause. Let's just have this play. Yeah, no major injury. It doesn't look like any major injuries happen. I poked out. I don't know what you say. No major injury. We don't know if it got poked out. We know his eyes bloody. But I mean, no loss of life. That was the major plus. Our goal there was no loss of life. But did you know someone would have died then? I didn't trust the drug dealer with the shotgun. I didn't trust him not to kill one of us to make an example. So you learn that doesn't mean it would be painless. Yeah, as in maybe one of us would be lost. We're young. As a group, we're all young. Bye. See you later, Moon. You never know how crazy people will act. And the dude was also talking about how he had a family to protect while pointing a shotgun at us. He had a family from his own, and from that standpoint... Yeah, but we don't know how he feels about protecting his family. We don't know if protecting his family is killing one of us, or if protecting his family is not killing one of us. In the stream now? Probably soon. He had to protect himself? Yeah. But that doesn't mean I had to trust him. Like, not the guy with the shotgun. And he still didn't look dead. He was literally just pushed back. In summary, we made our choices, and we are where we're at now. You're just nervous about what would happen to Daniel? Daniel's gonna be fine. Hope this dude's dead. He could be. And if he is dead, then this will just be all chopped up to natural disaster. Some weird-ass earthquake happened or something.
then there's no chance of the higher-ups knowing about some weird power. And now, who knows? Maybe he doesn't even realize it was a power. Maybe he, was, maybe he just thinks the wind was fucking strong. <laughs> his gun just flew out of his hand. And will the higher-ups believe him? They might just think he's been smoking his own supply. Yeah, it's the wind. What? Wait a minute. We missed listening to gorillas because we had licensed music paused? I'm pissed. What happened? One of the licensed songs that we're playing was a song that I like and like we didn't get to listen to it because I have to have licensed music paused to stream the goddamn game. All right. You made coffee for others after drinking the last cup because I am just that wonderful of a person. I hit the target while night throwing. If I had just kept my first try, I would have gotten you hit a bullseye. You refuse to talk about finding Karen. I should have tried to understand, but honestly, I, I wasn't thinking about what I was clicking. I did ask him why he didn't wear his watch. I intervened when Big Joe slapped Cassidy, because that was a dick thing. That was a dick move for Mr. Baldman to do. My trimming was average. I didn't help Daniel with the dishes? Heh. <laughs> Take that, loser. Do your own dishes. Uh, I was sober at the campfire. I, I did want to be sober. I that, I planned that. Uh, I went to sleep with Daniel. Exactly. Came forward when Daniel hit Big Joe. Yes, I did. Oh, if I didn't come forward, Finn would have? Oh, dude, heck yeah. You know what? I respect Finn. I respect Finn even more. I'm glad we made sure he survived. Like, I'm glad we used the power and made double sure. Because you know what? That's a respectable ass move. I was out for the heist. Exactly. I didn't want to do it. You eventually convinced? Nope. I stuck to it. You and Finn remained friends? Or you and Finn... Ki oh! Oh, we could have done a little smoochy smoochy over there. We could have did a little bit of the mwah mwah mwah. Okay, I see, I see. Uh, you didn't get a tattoo. You chose to have a wolf tattoo. Or you're like, how did he choose your tattoo? I got the wolf tattoo. You could have been a player. Aha. Uh -huh. A man of many smooches. You went to the lake and had a midnight swim with Cassidy. Cassidy didn't get angry at me, baby! I'm a legend. You kissed Cassidy, of course. You went into Cassidy's tent. Uh -huh. You sabotaged Big Joe's vehicle so he wouldn't come after you. That was a good move. Snuck into Merrill's house without being noticed. You alerted Merrill while sneaking into his house. Or you came in after Finn and Daniel broke into Merrill's house. Well, we didn't take the gun from the safe because we didn't exactly sneak into it. Okay, you told Daniel to use his powers and Finn wasn't killed. We're in the majority here. And uh, the fact that Finn wasn't killed is specified makes me happy with our decision. 
Oh, but Cassidy was injured. But not killed. Injured, but not killed. So we're okay. All things considered, much worse could have happened. You know, quoting this right here. You did nothing and Finn was killed. We didn't do that. Or we could have shot Meryl and Finn was killed, which is the other 0%. Daniel waited for me in the morning. Nice. Daniel did the dishes on his own. Whoops, my bad. Uh, Daniel didn't help with the water tanks. That's okay. Uh, Daniel talked with Sean about his mother. I'm glad. Uh, Lee Mochi, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Daniel used his power, got injured, and lashed out. That we're, we're also in the majority there. Injured, but not killed. Injured, but not killed. Daniel disobeyed, used his power, and got injured. See, he could have even disobeyed and used his power. So we weren't the only one. Daniel made his own decision. Daniel stayed put, but lashed out after Finn died. That could have happened, so he would have used his power in that situation if Finn died. Finn was shot dead, and Daniel lashed out at Sean. So basically, he would have used his power no matter what. But us telling him to use his power saved Finn. Okay. Oh, wait, maybe Lashed Out isn't used as power. But these two scenarios where it says Daniel lashes out is after Finn dies. And this, I'm fine with the scenario we have. I think I'm very fine with the scenario we have so far. You guys know what he did? The, yeah, yeah, the lashing out. But this says he lashes out at Sean. So I'm glad that Finn was not shot dead and Daniel didn't lash out at Sean. Well, if Finn didn't talk about it going in the first place, none of that would have happened other than... <laughs> none of that happens at all other than me getting laid. True. But I'm still glad Finn didn't die. I still think Finn's a good guy. He was just drunk and stupid. And Daniel came to him and asked about it, and he was like, oh, sure. Because he was drunk and stupid. Drunk and high and stupid. So, yeah. Oh, wait. Thanks for the follow, Christian Duplis. Wait, Chris oh, Christina Duplicis. Excuse me? How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How about yourself? What the hell is going on? I feel like that was a preview to the next episode. So we have two more episodes left? Yeah, we do. Uno reverse. Everyone dies but Sean. Every single one of them. Yikes. All right. So. You love this game? Same, same. So far. I believe that's a good place to end it for now, though. Because these two episodes... 
could each have their own individual streams, to be honest. So, be sure to stay for the raid still, folks. Uh, I wonder if you'll ever play Detroit Become Human. I don't know if you played this game. Is an at uh, Dead of Night horror game quite scary? Uh, actually, I have played uh, Detroit Become Human a long time ago on the channel. It was before anybody really watched me, but it is on the VOD channel. I did play Detroit. It was a very good game, and I loved it. I'm glad that I documented me playing it, even if nobody watched it. Uh... Because you know what, it was a fantastic game, and I'm glad I got my, uh, I'm glad I got my reactions. So let me... Bring this up. And, uh, well, I think it's about time for me to break out... The song. Good night? Yeah, good night. I will see you guys later. I really enjoyed the stream today. I've been loving this game so far. Let me bring this onto the right screen for continuity. And um, thank you guys for tuning in. It's always great. Um, it's always great playing games and actually having people watch. So, love my headphones? Thank you. I love them too. They're very comfy. Well, thanks, man. It's a good time to end. I need to sleep. But you're way too beautiful. I'm <laughs> cute for me to leave and go to sleep. Thank you, Mav. Thank you. Uh, but, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I think I know who I'm going to raid. I'm going to raid a good friend of mine. Love you guys in the way that a streamer loves their viewers. No other weird way. Thanks for the hydrate, Yuki. Thank you for the stream. Good luck and good night. Thank you for viewing. Yes. Go show some love over to Leah. They're fantastic. And a great streamer and a fantastic person as well. And I'm sure they'll appreciate you guys' support. Let me just open this up and... Yeah, there we go. So long, folks. Oh, Sekra! <laughs> oh, unfortunate timing. Rest well, Drag. Thank you, Gat. <laughs> I never know where the delay is going to cut me off, so I'm just going to wait a moment. <laughs> oh, poor Gat. Gat never gets the right one. It's always either been gay or, I guess, now fat. Just call me Leon. Alrighty, Leon. Man. You have to sub to Leon, bro. Yo, you weren't even lurking or anything? Heck yeah. Maybe it was a sign that I was gonna raid. Alright, folks. Timer's about to run out, which means I'm gonna get cut off in, ten, in eight seconds. Alright. See you later, folks. Bye.